Isaiah 16, this is talking about the judgment of Moab. And that when Moab is judged, he will pray but will not prevail. To be feared more than death itself is condemnation. Because the rejected at the day of judgment are going to desperately want to be in the kingdom. They will cry out, Lord, Lord, open to us. And they'll say, I don't know you. You have no relationship with me, ever. So this prospect of the future we might miss and the reality of condemnation must never be forgotten. No matter how confident we are, as we should be, in his grace at this moment. You are weak. I am weak. You're stupid. I'm stupid. We can throw it all away. We all make totally dumb decisions at different times in our lives. Let's, let's face it. This is, unfortunately, how we are. So bear that in mind. That is what gives you some sort of zest in life, some, some sort of seriousness, that life is serious. And spiritual life above all things is the only life that's worth living. It says here that when he prays, he will not prevail. By the way, that shows that prayer, in a sense, is a struggle. You remember when Jacob wrestled with the angel all night. Hosea comments on that and he says he had power over the angel and prevailed. He wept before the angel. It's as if God was out to destroy Jacob that night, but Jacob repented and begged for mercy and was given it. And in his prayer, he prevailed. That's how Hosea interprets it. So, prayer then is, a, in a sense, a struggle. Because God is not the God of Islam who says, look, you just got to submit to me. Here's my will, you submit. There would be little point in prayer. In that case, no, God is open to dialogue. God thirsts for relationship with us. He may say this will happen, but in the gap between him saying it's going to happen and the fulfillment, we can struggle with God. We can dialogue with him as Moses did, as so many faithful people did, and change the outcome that would otherwise have been. Now, this is what makes prayer exciting. This is what makes a prayer live, actual a dialogue, actual persuasion, actual two-way mutuality in relationship between God Almighty and little me down here on this earth.